evening everyone so for today uh, we are going to discuss just five uh, slides huh? because I just want to test this feature uh, of a video lecture okay so we begin with the definition of important terms as per section 4 of the strata titles act now bear in mind we are still under STA yeah? strata titles act but um, in three in three more uh, in slide number 14 I will refer to SMA okay so for now it's STA section 4 now what is the definition of building so building is any building partially completed or to be erected within lot okay then this this lot okay this one okay let me try to uh, this lot this definition of lot okay I'm going is the def, is defined here okay lot what is the meaning of lot lot here refers to surveyed plot so the keyword is surveyed okay by the way building if you refer to next page page 45 you will see a picture okay uh, which is slide number 16 slide number 16 you can see that building is the whole building of the strata scheme eh? building is the bangunan the whole building okay which is located on the lot which is lot uh, is defined as the surveyed plot now if the word is surveyed what does it mean it means that the lot is held under final title huh? so that diukur halus okay final title now uh, so lot here refers to the master title which is the land okay so uh, always uh, differentiate between building and lot and also lot and parcel okay parcel the next one parcel refers to any individual unit comprised within a subdivided building okay uh, which is held under a separate strata title okay if you look at your spectrum later okay i have uploaded a sample uh, strata title which is my own strata title use it for education ah uh. do not read do not show everybody else okay now separate strata title that is the definition of parcel it's within any subdivided building Another parcel is the accessory parcel. Accessory parcel is any parcel which is used or intended to be used in conjunction with a parcel. So it is linked to a specific parcel. Okay, uh, for example, car park bay. Okay, uh, other examples will be given below. But for now, if you look at the uh, picture on page forty-five. Okay, you can see there common property is the land itself, is the swimming pool, okay, is the landscape. So all those are common property. Now, uh, the next point says accessory parcels may not be contiguous with the main parcel. Means it tidak bersambung tau. It's not contiguous. It may not touch the main parcel. Uh, but are owned by the parcel proprietor and is included in his title again if later on you look at my strata title okay you will see that i have an accessory parcel that is attached to my strata title so my accessory parcel is my car park okay you can see there later on uh, if i'm not mistaken my uh, what do you call it my uh, it's just 40 meters square my luas peta accessory, my, the the apa, the area of my accessory parcel is just fourteen meters uh, square. Uh, it's just enough for my car. Okay, so the next one, the next point, it says there. Section sixty nine prohibits any dealing of the accessory parcel independent of the main parcel. So what does that mean? That means that you cannot sell, you cannot charge your uh, your uh, lease actually sell or lease your car park just now your accessory parcel uh, independently separately from your parcel your main parcel in the building in the subdivided building it must uh, be sold together with the parcel in the subdivided building you cannot separate these two okay the next slide shows you the boundary of the parcels okay the boundary of the parcels you can see there uh, the okay, let me just draw okay you can see there okay here the boundary is in the middle, right? You can see very clearly the, the boundary is in the middle. So it says there, the common boundary is the center of the floor, wall or ceiling between each parcel and another parcel or common property. So it's in between. Okay? It can be in between the wall, between the floor, in between the ceiling. Okay, The middle line. 
Now, uh, in the case of Liwa Bank uh, versus Chi Liung Holdings, remember Hat, okay, you can see that the case uh, involves this appellant, okay, Liwa Bank, who wanted to install an ATM through the exterior wall. Okay, if you can imagine, he wants to install here, lah, uh, for instance. Now, the respondent, okay, which is Chi Liung Holdings, remember Hat, okay, uh, the respondent was the proprietor of the land, landowner lah, huh? landowner, common property. Now, bear in mind, the year was 1984, so it was before the Strata Titles Act 1985. But the point is, okay, the point is, the court decided, okay, that whatever is located huh, uh, in the, apa nama tu, in the boundary, huh? uh, in, sorry, in a common property shared by, um, shared by owners, okay, you cannot simply assume that it's yours. You have to, it says you consent. You have to obtain consent from the other parties, okay? Uh, the other owners. Okay, in this case, it means that the common wall is owned by both, okay? By appellant and respondent. So, the appellant needs the consent of the respondent. So, in this case, uh, Chi Liung Holding said, I will give you consent, but you have to pay rent, okay? So, there's no choice. Consent is given when rent is paid. So, in that particular case, Li Wah Bank has to pay rent to Chi Leung Holding. Okay, very clear. Okay. Next is definition of the common property. Now, here I want you to, to pay attention because we have definitions from STA and also from SMA. Now, STA's definition of common property is a bit simple. SMA is a bit more detailed. Okay. Under STA, common property is defined as any part of the lot that is not a parcel. Anything that's uh, as long as not a parcel, it's considered a common property. Okay. Or any part of the lot which is not part of the provisional block. Provisional means okay, the building has not been completed yet or not been erected yet. This one, provisional block. Okay. So anything besides the parcel besides the provisional block is considered is considered oh no what's happening is considered the oh my god is considered the um, common property okay you know what I did just now now so examples given under STA are um, leaves water tanks refuse chutes drains sewers pipes wires cables ducts you can read on your own eh? and all facilities and installations used in common by all the purchasers now the other one for sma more detail common property is defined as so much of the development area so means anything any anything inside the development area which is not comprised of any parcel not comprised of the proposed parcel uh, including the accessory parcel and uh, this is the additional definition used or capable of being used or enjoyed by, by occupiers of two or more parcels or proposed parcels so this is the additional definition provided under SMA it adds there that the common property is capable to be used uh, ataupun, uh, or uh, used uh, uh, by Occupiers of two or more parcels. Now, occupier here means could be the owner, could be the tenant. Okay, so as long as the uh, area, uh, the development area, is used or capable of being used by two or more occupiers of parcels, it can be defined as common property. So now the definition is extended uh, to include structural elements of the building uh, such as uh, stairs, stairways, fire escape, entrance, corridors, lobbies and so on and so forth. Okay, So it's more detailed than the uh, definition under um, STA. Okay, Next slide, last one, last slide to be discussed. Now the definition of strata title, again I want you to pay attention here because there is an error in the definition. Strata register is not this. Wait. Strata register is not what is defined here. This is actually the definition of strata role. R-O-L-L. -L. Uh, under section 43. Okay. Now, Strata register, pay attention, is the register of strata titles maintained under section 15. So, the register of strata titles maintained under section 15, the strata register is kept at PTG, okay, at, with the registrar. 
Okay. So, this definition, the definition given in the slide, uh, register either in the form of bound or unbounded volumes kept and maintained by the MC to keep detailed records. Okay, this one is actually strata rule under section 43. Okay, I hope you made the amendment to your notes. Uh. This is wrong. This is wrong. Ini salah. This is wrong. So, this is actually strata rule. This is actually strata rule. Strata register, again, I repeat, is the register of strata register uh, strata titles maintained under section 15. So, the def definition given in your slide is actually strata rule under section 43. Now, it says that upon the opening of a book of strata register, the MC shall come into existence. Okay, so maknanya once they open the strata register at the PTG, then the MC will be born, uh, will come into existence. Now, the last definition is share units. Okay, share units or in Malay, unit share. The share units are shown in the schedule of share units. Okay, it shows or it specifies among other things the voting right. So, nanti later on we will learn the importance of having share units. But one of which uh, uh, is the voting right. It gives the, uh, the, the what do you call it, the quantum, the bilangan to the, the extent of the voting rights of the parcel owner. If you look at my strata title i have and uh, for myself unit share i'll share unit uh, unit share bagi petak my share unit for my parcel is 108 so that is the voting right given to me 108 over and nanti adalah total dia there will be a total of the uh, shares for the whole of my development but my rights is only 108 so uh, there are other usage uh, usages of uh, share units which we will learn later on now, uh, formula, uh, the formula for the calculation of allocated share units will be provided under SMA. So, we are not going to discuss how to calculate the uh, share units under STA. Okay, I think that's all for uh, this particular session. I will continue with another segment later on. Okay, thank you for attention and happy reading. Okay, bye-bye.